and I'm Wolf here, and welcome back to another episode of the QT- QCA or Question to Ask. It is a new season, and after one week of break, I am back, albeit quite late. Um, but yeah, I'm back. So um, this season, um, we're going to be asking some more uh, intense questions, some deeper questions, um, but it won't be too long. Um, and so I won't do an episode of you, I want you to be surprised and excited. But um, today's episode is what is time? What is the structure of time? And what is it? So if you remember, um, last episode I asked what is, uh, what each dimension are we truly living in according to me? And I said the fourth dimension and I said that time was a dimension. So let's ex- explore deep into that and ask what is time? So... Obviously we know that time is the thing that surrounds us all, because without it we'd all just be frozen in one place forever, and we would never get anything done. But, um, what is it actually? I mean, what's it made of? Well, because it's not made up of molecules. So what is it made up of? Well, I believe that time is actually made up of strands, neurons in our brain, and that time isn't actually existent. This is actually contrary to my theory of the fourth dimension being this dimension, but I, I can make it work, I can uh, fix some little room, because if time is something only invented in our brains, then that means that we have the capacity to hold another dimension in our heads, another dimension in our heads, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit tired, so I'm a bit dopey as well. <laughs> um, anyway, which would make sense, because our brains are very big. We, like, even, even children, like, younger than five, have big brains, because they, that's just how humans work. We can understand things like that when we're five. We can understand that things move and that there's this thing upon the wall that tells us this thing called time. So, we know what it is, but what, what, what does it do? This is a really obvious question, but the answer is slightly more in-depth than you would think. What does time really do is a question that not many people have asked, and if you think about it, you couldn't really tell us what does time do? Like, what does it do? It just makes us move? Well, surely that's what the first, second, and third dimension do, right? No. Because they just build us up, they make us exist. <laughs> time makes us move. We can move because of time. So that was this week's episode. I know it was brief, but I'm going for shorter, more in-depth episodes. Um, because um, that's just my style. I like going shorter. And then maybe for the last season, um, episodes sorry of this season, which is far away into the distance, I might do a bit of a longer one. But yeah, um, because some people might not just not have the time to listen to. Um, long podcasts so you just might want to have a four minute podcast and they're like oh man I can't find anything <laughs> but yeah I hope you enjoyed this episode um, don't forget to send in a voice message um, if you can um, and just, just just ask me um, what I should like ask me to do this question and you can also um, give me some feedback via voice message just don't swear please um, and don't be abusive they are my only rules so yeah, um, I'll see you all next week, and I'll see you next week, like I just said. <laughs> Bye!